Hey everyone, it's Adam here from Ads Productions and this is going to be a very quick video on how to set up a QNAP NAS drive. For this example, I'm going to be using the QNAP TS251A 2-bay drive. Take the hard drives that you want to add, in this case it will be two of them. You must now secure these hard drives into the plastic drive bays. They then slide into the NAS drive and connect to the internal connection. Most of the QNAP NAS drives come with screws, so you don't have to worry about securing the in. You can do that all with the screws provided and a simple screwdriver. Once you've added the hard drives, plug the power cable into the NAS drive and then into the wall. Then plug the network cable from the NAS drive into your router or router. Then turn your NAS drive on. Once you do this, your NAS drive will then be given an IP address. You can then go to this IP address on your PC. However, QNAP includes some very straightforward and very useful wizards to get you going without having to know anything about IP addresses, etc, etc. Now go to start.qnap.com from any PC on the same network as your NAS drive. And you can see there it says if the NAS hardware has been installed and is connected to the internet, you can progress to the firmware installation. I'm going to click on that link there. It will take me to this little web page now. Now I'm going to use the QFinder Pro utility. That's the middle one on the screen now. Basically what this does is scans your network for any devices on there that come up as QNAP, which just makes it easy for you instead of having to know the IP address. So click on the Windows download or Mac or Linux, depending on what operating system you're using. It then should begin to download a setup wizard. When the wizard launches, just press next, 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 and yes, or whatever you normally do on setup guides. Then the QNAP QFinder Pro will come up. It's going to search your network and eventually find it. It should come up with server not initialized yet. And you want to press yes on this, which is the smart installation guide. Once you press yes, a new window will appear as such on the screen. It will take you to the website. You're going to choose then home use or business use. Most of you, if you're using a two bay drive like I am, will probably click on the home use one. So we're going to do that too. Start smart installation guide. You can then specify your NAS name, your admin username and password, etc, etc. It just allows you to easily set it up and get it going. You can also choose to assign a static IP address and what services you want to include on this NAS drive. Do you want to use it as like a multimedia device or do you want to use it as just storage? You're going to have your own setup when it comes to these NAS drives, so take this section of this guide as, as like a guideline rather than instructions to follow. I'm going to choose RAID 1 here, which obviously means it clones the primary drive, meaning that if you ever have any corrupted data or data, you can then have it moved and mirrored over to the original primary drive, which hopefully means you don't lose any info. More on that in the review coming up. Once you're happy with the settings in your summary, press finish or apply, press confirm, and that basically all there is to it. You'll come up with the dashboard of the NAS drive, You'll log in with the admin credentials you've just set up. But before any of that, it's probably going to take about 10, 15 minutes to go through all of the setup. This is adding services, adding applications, blah, blah, blah. I've obviously time lapsed over it. So it obviously takes a little bit longer than what you're seeing on the screen. You just connect your NAS to your network. You browse to the NAS. You configure it with the hard drives you've got in there. And then you can map personal drives. You can set up shares. You can set up users. You can set up permissions, whatever you want to do. That's completely up to you. There is a review of this specific NAS drive coming very shortly. It may even be up by the time you watch this video. So click on the annotations on the screen now. You can also find my unboxing of this particular NAS in the description and as an annotation on the screen now. Thank you very much for watching. This has been an overview on how to add a QNAP NAS drive to your personal PC setup. Thanks very much for watching.